One of our favorite organizations here at News 6 is a gift for teaching. The nonprofit is Central Florida's primary provider of free school supplies. And each year during the holidays, they honor three students who have demonstrated excellence in character, leadership, and academics despite some tough circumstances. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton shows us that while the Grant-A-Wish event looked a little different this year, it is still getting results in our schools. It's an annual tradition. Three deserving students win shopping sprees at a gift for teaching store. Obviously this year during COVID, we have not been able to conduct the grant -A wish event as we usually do when we invite the winning students and their nominating teachers and their families to come to our facility for a shopping spree. This year, Grant-A-Wish goes on the road with the winning students' teachers having shopped for them. It was a tough decision, but three of them definitely rose to the top. And today, we are about to do a really surprising reveal for our elementary school student whose name is PJ. <laughs> Pinewood Elementary first grade teacher Nisha Philip Malahu nominated her student PJ. He always encouraged the other kids online to do their best. He's like, come on, you can do this. You can answer this question. So I think he's very deserving of this honor and so much more because of his his kindness in a world that's maybe not as kind as it can be right now. My favorite school supply is marker and pencils and books and coloring pencils and I like everything. And in addition to those markers, pencils and books, PJ is taking home games, toys, shoes and even bikes just in time for Christmas. Julie Broughton, Getting Results, News 6. Now, 43 students were nominated this year, and more than $3,600 in gifts was distributed to the three winning students.